Hey guys, Nick Horton here, the Iron Samurai, and this is another episode of Weightlifting Academy. Athletes find themselves in precarious situations all the time. That means you're going to be falling and getting knocked over and all sorts of shit. And if you're not able to deal with those precarious situations physically, that's when you're going to get hurt. That's when you're going to get injured. The Bulgarian split squat is probably my favorite beginner uh, single leg training exercise. But it's not just for beginners, even though it does alliterate with beginners. You never can get enough single leg training, honestly. I mean, if you're squatting your tail off like you're supposed to be, that's a two-legged thing, and so there's going to be parts of the body that are not being worked the same way that they will be when you're having to balance on one leg a little bit more. What's good about a Bulgarian split squat is it takes some of the balance out, so you can add some weight if you're more advanced, or if you're just struggling to even stay on one leg, it's taking some of that pressure off. Now, in the long run, I also like to see if people can get to the point where they're doing pistols, so we'll work on that uh, in the future, but if you can't do a good Bulgarian split squat, there's no way in fucking hell you're going to do a pistol. Okay, I've got Eli set up here as my pretty model, and what we're going to do is go through three key things I want you to focus on when you're doing a Bulgarian split squat. By far the most important is make sure your heel is on the ground. I don't want that heel coming up under any circumstance. Treat this exactly like a barbell squat. In fact, that's an overall good way to think about it. It's just like in barbell squatting, you're going to want to do a few key things like keep your heels down. And then number two, second important rule is I want you to brace that torso. Practice bracing or hollow body position uh, just like you would if you were doing a front squat or a back squat or a deadlift. You should feel tightness in those abs right there. That's what you want to feel. I don't want you to be all loosey-goosey. Get in the habit in every exercise you do in the gym of bracing that core really tight. So that includes this exercise. Now the third thing I want you to do is make sure you're standing far enough away from the bench so that you get a nice stretch in the top of your thighs. I want to get that because I think it's nice to get the little added mobility benefit here in the Bulgarian split squat in an area you don't tend to stretch yourself out on enough, which is in that hip flexor region and in your quads. Now notice his foot. There's really two ways you can do this. For rank beginners, people who are just starting out and have a real hard time with balance, I want them to do it like this where the foot is in an active position. This comes like a sprint, like you're getting ready to sprint. That means the back leg can do some work. That's going to help you stay balanced and it's going to help you figure out how to do this exercise. Now as you move forward, I got more video of him just like this. Here we go. He's got his foot now flat on the bench. See that? This means this leg is not able to be as active for pretty obvious reasons. And otherwise, the lift is done exactly the same. He's still braced as fuck. He's still got his heel down flat. He's still standing far enough away that as he goes down, you can see his uh, uh, hip flexor there getting a nice stretch. This is really good. Uh, by the way, standing farther away from the bench makes keeping the heel down a whole lot easier. So that's the three things I want you to do. Heel down, braced in the torso, just like any other squat. Stand far enough away so that when you're in the bottom, you get a nice stretch there. Uh, side note, make sure you don't tap your knee on the ground. That is not healthy. You don't want your kneecap slamming into a, a hard surface like that. That's not good for you. Uh, and the last thing, remember, this foot can be done in two ways. This is more advanced, and it also sometimes can bother people's ankles. Uh, but if you have good ankle mobility and you're pretty advanced uh, in single leg work, then this is good because your front leg is pretty much doing all of the work. Uh, as, as you're learning it, though, I like this one. This one gives you a little more activity in the back leg, and that means you're going to be able to use it as part of the strength movement. It also makes you feel far more balanced. 